Welcome everyone to the second episode of the Deck Building Challenge. This is a series where we subject ourselves to ridiculous rules and stipulations to build unique decks before dueling in a best of three match with said decks. In this second episode, we have to build decks in which every card art features a female character on it. It's going to be difficult, it's going to be a lot of fun, so without any further introduction, here we go. Alright, first duel. Okay, I'm playing a trap based archetype. I'll let you try to guess what it is. And it looks like Eddie is going to be playing a Dark Magician Girl deck. Okay, well, let's check it out. Eddie starts off by activating Magician Soul, sending Dark Magician Girl, then summoning her from the grave. Sets a card and passes. My turn, I just set 5 and pass. On Eddie's turn, he activates another Magician Soul, sending another Dark Magician Girl, and in response, I activate Solemn Strike. Eddie goes to battle phase, attacking with Dark Magician Girl on his end phase, I activate Trap Trick to set Altergeist Manifestation. Yep, I'm, I'm playing Altergeist. I just passed my turn. Uh, Eddie goes straight to battle phase again and attacks with Dark Magician Girl. Now on my turn, I set Solemn Judgment and pass. Back to Eddie, and once again, he just attacks. It's probably the best strategy. It's working for him so far. Back to me. And I end up setting the effect Veiler and passing. Eddie's turn again, he summons Apple Magician Girl. I immediately respond with Judgment. Apple adds Magician Girl from the grave, and Eddie attacks with Magician Girl into my set effect Veiler. And I just surrender here. I mean, what can I do? There isn't much I can do against Dark Magician Girl beatdown if I can't summon a monster. Alright, in the second duel, I am going first. I set three cards and pass my turn. Eddie starts and summons Chocolate Magician Girl, activates the effect and gets Ash Blossomed. Off to battle and attacks with Chocolate, then sets a card, ends his turn. My turn, I summon Melusik and go right into battle, attack for 500, activate the effect of Melusik targeting Chocolate and sending it to the grave and passing turn. Eddie summons Lemon Magician Girl, attacks over Melusik, then Melusik activates its effect to add Multi Faker to my hand, then I activate Trap Trick, setting Manifestation. Activating multi faker that gets met with solemn judgment, which I respond to with solemn judgment. Judgment negates warning and faker hits the field. Now, faker's effect activates to summon conquery. Conquery activates, negating the effect of lemon and finally moving towards the end phase. On my turn, I activate manifestation, summoning Melusik, then leaking away Melusik for Artemis, which activates the effect. Searching for Marionetter, summoning Marionetter, activating the effect to set protocol, then linking away everyone to summon Appaloosa, attacking over Lemon, setting a card, and passing. Alright, on Eddie's turn, he special summons out Apprentice and surrenders. Alright, I guess there wasn't much he could do with a with a board of Appaloosa three set cards. Alright, third duel. I'm going first again. I start off by setting three cards and passing. On Eddie's turn, he summons Chocolate, then activates her effect, discarding Apprentice, drawing a new one, now activating Souls, sending Magician Girl to the grave, then summoning it. During the battle phase, I take 3600 damage, he sets a card, and passing turn. On my turn, I start off by summoning Multi Faker, then going into Artemis, activating Manifestation, which is met with a judgment. But that's met with a judgment of my own. And Multi Faker does come out here, but I'm unsure why his effect doesn't go off. Maybe something to do with that. It's a Counter trap, I don't know. Eddie starts off by summoning Apprentice, activating Dark Burning Attack, and. I don't know. He pops my entire field. During the battle phase, he destroys me. Well, even though I lost, this was really fun. I liked the challenge of building a deck with these restrictions. It really sucked that I couldn't use Haunted Rock. I feel it might have gone differently if I could have. But that's not important. Eddie gets his win, and he will be gloating about it until the next episode, I'm sure. But he deserves it. Now let's go check the deck lists. Alright, in my deck, I was running 1 Conquery, 3 Marionetter, 3 Multi Faker, 2 Ash Blossom, 3 Ghost Ogre, 2 Silk with this, 3 Melusik, 3 Pukery, 1 Veiler, 2 Manifestation, 3 Trap Trick, 2 Protocol, 3 Spoofing, 3 Strike, 3 Judgment, and finally, three warning. For the extra deck, I was running two Memory Gant, one Appaloosa, two Prime Banshee, two Selene, three Hextia, two Kidoga, 
and 3 Artemis. For the side deck, I ran the third Ash, 3 Ghost Bell, the other two Veilers, 3 Evenly Matched, 3 Witches Strike, and 3 Titano Cider. Alright, for Eddie's deck, he was playing 3 Apprentice Illusion Magician, 3 Dark Magician Girl, 2 Kiwi, 3 Chocolate, 2 Apple, 3 Ash Blossom, 2 Lemon, 3 Berry, 3 Trump Witch, 3 Veiler, 3 Souls, 3 Dark Burning Attack, 2 Inheritance, 3 Judgment, and 2 Warning. For the extra deck, we have 3 The Dark Magicians, 1 Dark Magician Girl the Dragon Knight, 1 Beatrice, 2 Kanzashi, 2 Magician Gal, 2 Frozen Lady, 2 Downard, 1 Minerva, and 1 Princess Sprite. For the side deck, he was running all the Ghost Girls, Ogre, Belle, Mourner, and Dogwood. Also 2 Solemn Scolding and The Last Warning. Alright, thanks so much for watching guys. And if you liked the video, please make sure to give it a like, subscribe if you want, and give us a comment about what challenge you would like to see next in the comment section down below. Until next time.